gets it. Presented by the Farmer's Dog. Man, I appreciate you doing this. I know last year was a tough year injury-wise, yeah. so watch you this year has been phenomenal. The plays you've been making, and I had to start off with, I came prepared. Like, Y'all got to see this. I brought all my chains out because Thursday night, if you were watching the game, this Them guy things was dancing bench. too. They was all they over. Dancing man. So, too. But this is the difference. This is like retired 2022. <laughs> this is brand new money. He ain't shown, but it's different. Man, what goes into picking the chains and what you're going to wear in any football game? Yeah, I mean, you already know me. Anybody that know me, I got to be swagged out. I got to be drippy. I got to have the chains on. I got to have the jury showing. So especially on Thursday night, light shining bright, <laughs> I got to have the chains rocking, man. They're going to be dancing, and uh, they're going to be dancing when I'm doing my moves. So too, Sunday so. night, we're going to get a treat. We're going to get a treat <laughs> Sunday night football. Oh, for sure. Chains. Oh, for sure. Always. It's always going to be some chains, regardless. I got to have chains on my neck. I, I love it's it, a man. Must. I was looking. You're about to set another milestone. Mm -hmm. What is the reaction of saying, like, you're going to pass Jerry Rice, Randy Moss? How do you feel about that? crazy it's so it's so unreal man uh i mean just being a little kid and growing up and looking up to those guys uh and even dream dreaming of being on this level being on this platform and being a superstar in the league you know you always be in the backyard throwing up a football and you know vision envision that and uh i mean just to, to be in this um to be actually in it and to to, to be doing what i'm doing is it's it's a blessing man it's uh, it feels like a dream every single day that I'm living, uh, but I, I try to make the most of my my opportunities, most of my uh, my moments here, and uh, just doing what I got to do. Uh, but I always say I'm chasing greatness, and I'm trying to be a Hall of Famer. So uh, those are, are definitely two guys to be chasing for sure. That's what's up. We all was in the backyard yelling Moss, but you, <laughs> sure. you still do it now on Sunday. So talking about some of the tough catches you make, yeah. what is the routine you do to practice or perfect catching the ball? Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, you got to be on the jug machine. You cannot you cannot be afraid of getting some extra work in, uh, even being on the, the highest level. You know, just uh, getting some extra work, even, you know, grabbing some of the, the uh the uh, general manager, well, not the general manager, the equipment guys, the equipment guys uh, and just, you know, getting some extra catches in uh, and just having that hand-eye coordination. Uh, I feel like that, that just goes in a lot just uh, on how I transform from practice to my game day routine. Uh, but uh, I feel like, you know, that's just in me, just mm -hmm. uh, to have that competitive spirit that, you know, as soon as the ball is up in that air, it's mine, regardless of how it gets to me, regardless of how, how many people are guarding me. Uh, that's just the mindset that I have always is to, it's, it's mine or, or nobody else's. Is there any like unusual technique thing that you've ever done oh, to sure. work on grip? Like oh, what's the sure. craziest thing? Um, I mean, we, we definitely have some grip stuff here, you know, with a grip bar and twirling up a, a, a pound weight. Uh -huh. uh, we had that. that. Uh, I mean, even back at LSU, we used to be throwing tennis balls mm -hmm. and uh, catching tennis balls. You know, of course, you know, uh, if people follow the story at LSU, uh, you know, we did the 10,000 uh, catching footballs in, in one summer. So that was definitely, you know, a transition that helped me a whole bunch from my sophomore year to my mm -hmm. junior year uh, into catching the ball with my hands. Let's see, okay. Oh, for sure. For I got to sure. ask you about the team. Start off 5-0, and lose the last two. Yeah. What's the mood like right now in the locker room? Yeah, uh, we feel like, you know, these past two games, we've been doing nothing but hurting ourselves. You know, just, of course, the pre-snap penalties being put back second and 20. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's hard for any uh, offense to, to, you know, um, to get back on and uh, to get back on track. Mm -hmm. So um, our, our mindset is really just to continue what we're doing, but even better, mm -hmm. uh, of course, executing our plays um, and being there for one another, uh, relying on your brother right next to you uh, to make that play and to be where he needs to be. Uh, and you don't have to make every single play. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like that's the main objective, uh, to go out there and just play free, play fast. Uh, we kind of limit down the, the offensive playbook, mm -hmm. uh, trying to allow us just, just to go play fast, free, uh, and let Sam just you know throw it out. So uh, I, I feel like we, we definitely going to bounce back for sure. Mm -hmm. that's, that's definitely how I feel. Uh, but we just need to get back on what we've been doing these first five games get of the season. We need to get back to that. Spe speaking is. of Sam Darnold, 
Last year, kind of a revolving door at quarterback. Yeah. What's it been like to have Sam lead the charge for the Vikings this year? Yeah, it's, it's definitely lovely to have, you know, that one main quarterback yeah. <laughs> that, that, uh, that is throwing to you. Uh, last year, you know, we didn't know who was going to be the starter uh, during the week, you mm -hmm. know. So uh, it definitely was a, a tough transition. Uh, but, you know, having a main quarterback now and having a leader uh, such as Sam, uh, that's dialed in and, and knows what he's doing and uh, allows us to, you know, go and talk to him whenever mm -hmm. we need to or him come and talk to us whenever he needs to. Uh, so just being dialed in on the same page as that. Uh, but we're always building that connection and building that, that team chemistry. Uh, but, but Sam is definitely doing this thing for sure. I love it. I, I got to ask you, is there any similarities between like him and Kirk Cousins or him and yeah. Joe Burrow, guys you play with? Yeah, um, I, I feel like, uh, you know, Sam kind of has a little bit of similarities from both of those wow. guys. Uh, mobility wise, you know, of course, Joe uh, just being able to move out the pocket. Kirk don't got that kind of movement. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got that type of movement. Nah, nah. But uh, I mean, Kirk is his smart and his uh, ability to know the game, mm -hmm. know where to throw the ball, and uh, know the, the type of touch to put on the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, I love that about Kirk. Uh, but, you know, Sam, his arm, uh, his ability to throw the ball downfield, and uh, uh, he's still a young guy. He's yeah. only 27 yep. years old. So uh, his ability to move and, and being able to, you know, still be looking downfield whenever mm -hmm. he leaves that pocket uh, is definitely, you know, very helpful. Uh, especially as a receiver that loves to get open, loves mm -hmm. the, the, the scrambled drill. And, uh, of course, you already know uh, those are where the big plays mm -hmm. come in at. <laughs> yep, I already know. And, and speaking of the offense, your head coach, Kevin O'Connell, mm -hmm. what's his superpower as a coach? I feel like uh, his ability to... Uh, to really connect with his players, oh. uh, you know, he's also a, a young, uh, a young yeah. guy, and um, I mean, he knows how we how we act and how we think as players. You know, he was a player himself, and he was a, in this league. So, uh, you know, just his ability to kind of connect with us and talk to talk to us about anything. Uh, of course, he's on the offensive side yeah, yeah. more than the defensive side. So uh, he's always talking to us as, you know, receivers and uh, just trying to be dialed into the game plan, dialed into, you know, what he thinks uh, we should be doing. Uh, and he's very good at asking me on what I think, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what we should be doing. Uh, uh, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a student of the game as well. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I'm always uh, trying to be better and try to, uh, you know, get us that dub. So uh, I'm always, get, uh, you know, talking in his <laughs> ear and giving him some, some extra tips and, hey, we can do this, throw it up over here, mm -hmm. and, uh, let's go a little tempo. So, uh, but he, he's definitely good at just listening and, mm -hmm. and just being that coach that, you know, you can, you can talk to about anything. So we were talking to Coach, Coach Flores, who I had in New England. What's it like in training mm. camp? You got Kevin O'Connell, <laughs> Brian Flores, oh. this crazy defense, y'all offense. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Bump heads, man. That's, that's what they do. But that's, that's the coaches that you yeah. want, the coaches that don't want to get scored on, that mm -hmm. don't want the defense uh, to stop you. you know, they want to be the, the coaches that, all right, we want the offense mm -hmm. to, to be the main ones. No, we want the defense to be the main ones. So, I mean, just having that uh, in our building, uh, I mean, the guys kind of feed off of it. Mm -hmm. You know, the, our team feed off of that energy. Um, you know, especially flows, you know, flow, you know, <laughs> flow has always been flow. If you know flow, mm -hmm. you know the type of energy that he brings, especially to that defense. Uh, and that's the reason why they're performing they're the like way that. they are. Uh, it's because he is the main one that's getting on them. He's the main one that's telling them this is how it needs to be done. And they doing it for sure. We just need to get back to what, you know, we was doing those first five games. And uh, this is the game to do it for sure. And I got to ask you, because I played against you and it was hard because you lined up at X yep. and the slot and the backfield. Yep. How much do you enjoy being all over this office in different positions? I love it. I love it. And that was the main question uh, that I had when, when KO came into this building. How is Cooper Cup getting that wide open? <laughs> How is he the triple crown winner? The winner? Uh, how did y'all get to the national championship? Oh, uh, the, the Super Bowl. Uh, so those are questions that I asked as soon as K.O. stepped foot into this building. Uh, and he told me, you have to learn the whole playbook. You have to be able to be in the backfield, be at X, be at F, be at different positions all over the field. So teams are not just keying on you on one side of the field, you know. So uh, just being able to be versatile and being all over the field, uh, it definitely helps tremendously. Uh, defense is not... It, they don't know where I'm going to line up uh, before oh, I the know. play snap. I had to play against it. I, I know. I already know. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to run through six names. 
one word association when you hear these receivers names uh, what word pops into your mind so we'll start off Tyreek Hill speed AJ Brown explosion Malik neighbors <sighs> oh man that dude duh. Uh, I would say acrobatic that's what I would say his 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 uh, his body control mm -hmm. his uh, it's crazy <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> Amon Ross St. Brown. I call him feisty. He a little feisty. He yep. a little feisty dude. He like to be in the mix. He like I know to, exactly what he you like, mean. Yeah, he, 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 don't, he don't mind a little extra contact. That's the old guys you got to watch out for. Yeah. <laughs> How about C.D. Lamb? Oh, I call C.D. finesse. You know, he, he's the finesse. He's the smooth uh, receiver. Uh, of course, you know, he's the swaggy t uh, guy as well. Uh, but, you know, he also don't mind getting a little dirty as well. But, you know, he also has that finesse and has that, that route running to him uh, that I like too. All right, last guy, you could probably guess it, your guy, Jamar Chase. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, Jamar, what word would I say for Jamar? Um, he's just a dog, man. That's, that's, that's really all that I can really say to it. Uh, I mean, I, I've been with him since I, I was a, friend, a, a sophomore in, in college. So mm -hmm. uh, I seen as soon as he came into you know college, you know he was that guy. Uh, so seeing him now today and kind of putting more to his game mm -hmm. and uh, of course physically wise, kind of you know getting to where he would want to be. Uh, I mean, him and Joe, that's that's <laughs> a that's a crazy duo, man. That's it, it, it's crazy to see. It's uh, crazy. That's so true. When I sat down with him last year, I said. Who's one guy that you know made it hard on you covering? He told me Carlton Davis, and then before he finished, he's like, hold on, no, 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 I still got off. Though. I still, I still killed. Him. I, was like, hey, I, didn't, I didn't say you did, so I know exactly what he you had did. to add that in there. Exactly. <laughs> he ain't gonna ever see nobody lock them up. He ain't gonna ever see that. We'll get the iPad in here and show you some things. And you can say it's about a gun without me seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> So we got a little iPad right here. We're gonna show you, we're gonna show you some things. And we're gonna start off with, so you know, I played back in 2022, and yep. part of the reason I work at Football Night in America now is you'll see right here. They throw it to you down the field. I'm thinking like, ooh, I'm about to lay a hit. You get up flexing. I'm like, this young dude, he flexing on me. I hit him. I was like, all right, you see that look right there? It was like, yeah. It's time to go ahead and get a seat. This. Hey, that was, hey, I definitely felt that one, though. Don't, hey, don't think See that, that I didn't feel it. Oh, that warms my heart. I, I felt it, but you can't let them know that I felt it. You know, you got to get up, flex a little bit, kind of let the crowd feel the energy. Live off of that. Live off of that. That's all you got to do. Get uh, up, live another day. That was the first part. This retired me. So right here, we double teamed you early in the game. And I'm sure you knew playing against the Patriots, you're going to see a lot of double. Yep. So you run the end cut, we take it away. Mm -hmm. I think you went to the sideline and told KO, like, <laughs> hey, I'm just going to run through him. Because the very next third down, you take off. And mm. I used to be known as fast, so I, I'm like, oh, I got to go. <laughs> I ain't close no ground. I said, oh, no, it's over. He, he tall, he moved. It was, that was when it was a wrap, man. That, was, that, was, that would probably be one of my favorite catches that I've had. Yeah. Uh, of course, during that time, Sunday night. Mm -hmm. uh, that was splitting Thanksgiving a double, right there, Thanksgiving, too. Thanksgiving, splitting a double. Uh, I mean, we kind of been talking about, of course, you know, the Patriots always been known for doubling try that. To take you. <laughs> taking that number one receiver out the game. So uh, we knew that we was going to get that double. We knew that, uh, you know, I was going to have to, you know, beat that mm -hmm. double a couple of times during, during that game. So... Uh, you know, they gave me a shot route in the in the slot position, so I seen the double, and I had to I'm split. I had to take off. You had 140 on us in the double. <laughs> Bill, ki Bill Bell killed us the next day. <laughs> killed us. Now I gotta ask, how often do you watch this play? Like, does uh, it, do you watch this before the game to get you time. going? All the time, man. I mean, one hand was it fourth and 22? Fourth and 18. Fourth and 18. I always remember fourth and 18, number 18. <laughs> I mean, I, that was that was crazy, man. I still can't believe that to this day. Just the fact that I caught the ball and flipped in the air, and still maintain the keep, you know, the ball off the ground, mm -hmm. keeping one hand on it, and even to win the game also in overtime. <laughs> yeah, that game was just insane. Of course, being in that atmosphere, being mm -hmm. in in uh, mafia in mafia stadium, um, I, it was it was 
It was so, it was so crazy. At that point, <laughs> it was so crazy. Every question anybody had, it, it was answered after that. It was answered. Right here, man. 97 yard touchdown against uh, San Fran. Yeah. What was even the thought when the ball's on the three yard line? Yeah. It's like, we throwing a shot. For sure. I mean, we, we kind of practiced that play. Uh, I mean, we never practiced being on the three yard line. Yeah, That's yeah. never something you can really practice. <laughs> Uh, but uh, we kind of practiced that play mm -hmm. uh, and, and just kind of felt like it was a great time to call that. Uh, we knew San Fran was kind of go going to send uh, a blitz or mm -hmm. send, you know, an extra guy or two. Uh, so we kind of set it up to where we want to max protect. Uh, we only sent, what, two guys yeah. on routes during mm -hmm. that play. Uh, so Speedy kind of took off and I, I, took, I took the top off, you know, just getting on top of the mm -hmm. safety. Uh, but, you know, of course, Sam with his arm uh, throwing the dot the uh, in stride. Uh, but uh, the, the main important thing was Speedy come and help me out and, and finish, you finish I gotta the get play. To the end oh, zone. Yeah, I got to. I got to. You know, everybody knows, you know, those long plays where you're going across the field and having to go back. That's the ones where you die down and yep. you lose that energy mm -hmm. and get caught. So I, I was happy to, you know, kind of get in that end zone and, uh, of course, you know, thankful that, you know, Speedy kind of helped me out a little bit. Teamwork. Teamwork, man. At the end of that, you hit the famous gritty. <laughs> Last year, I told you, I sat down with Chase, <laughs> and I said, hey, man, oh, Lord. I need to learn about this gritty. My kid's on me. I, so oh, he showed Lord. me, and I, I need to see if you could teach me, because I was studying you. You bring the eyes with it, so yeah. I'm going to show you what he taught me right here. Just getting your heels clicking, so it's mm -hmm. like a walk in the spot right now. And then once you get that momentum, you can do the same thing, but do it with a walk. Okay. Just walk with it. So it's like this, click, yeah, that's it. Then you get the rhythm in. Once you get the rhythm in, that's when you just, that's when you just. Yeah. We got, we got to show them up. We got to get a little oh, gritty yeah, right easy. now. That's easy. We're going to get a little gritty. Wow, 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 yo. I gotta, I gotta ask you though, when do you know, like, when do you know you come up with here or you do so, like, It's whatever it on you, whatever you feeling. You know, for, for me, you know, I just like to put my little extra move. I gotta have people seeing the feet, that's for <laughs> sure. So I, you know, throw my little hands up. Dude, you can do whatever you want. That's, that's your decision. All you gotta do is have the feet and just throw your little beads. Once you throw the, throw the uh, hands up, you good. You straight. You done completed everything you needed to do. So we got different versions of the gritty. We have I the jet that. gritty. Yep. You know, we got the LeBron gritty. We got a whole bunch of different gritties, man. It's, it's whatever you want to do, whatever flavor you want to put into it. But as long as you got the full work, you got the bees, you good. I got to ask, OK, Sunday night football, do we have a special gritty for this Sunday night game? For sure. For sure. So we, we gotta got keep an eye coming, on this? We got something coming through for sure. And they lucky I didn't get in the end zone last week because I had something <laughs> for them last week. So I got something for y'all coming back this time. You heard it here first. <laughs> we got special gritty this week. Gets it. Presented by the Farmer's Dog. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.